how to use ManyCam in the Magic Ears classroom. Hello heroes! My name is Courtney Charles and I'm here to share with you how to use ManyCam in the Magic Ears classroom. ManyCam is a wonderful program used to add digital fun and effects to your classes. I personally love that I don't have to store a lot of props. And if I have a lesson that is new to me, I don't have to run out and buy a prop. I can simply search the internet and find a relevant prop to use in class. So stay tuned and let's see how to use ManyCam in the Magic Ears classroom. If you are new to ManyCam, I highly recommend downloading the free version first. This will enable you to check whether your computer is able to run ManyCam. It will also allow you to make sure that you are able to run the Magic Ears platform and ManyCam simultaneously. To download ManyCam, go to ManyCam.com and click on the download link. At the top of this page, you will be able to download the free version. Simply click on the green button labeled Download Now. If you scroll down, you will see the options for the paid versions. For individuals, there are three options, Standard, Studio, and Premium. The main difference is the number of presets or video sources that you are able to use to preset your classes. If you are ever interested in green screening, you will want to select the studio or premium versions as they will give you the option to use chroma key. ManyCam.com features an effects library that you can search in order to find effects to use in your classes. Simply click on the resources tab at the top of ManyCam.com and select effects. You are able to use the search effects feature on the right side of the screen in order to search for effects that you would like to use in your class. Today I am teaching a class on jump rope and the letter J. Let's look for a letter J to use in class. I simply type in letter J and click enter. I am able to browse through various options of the letter J. Let's use letter J red in today's class. If I click on the download link, it will download that file to my computer. Once it is downloaded, I simply have to double click on it in order to open it and install it in ManyCam. If I can't find what I am looking for in the ManyCam.com effects library, I then like to search for my own images and GIFs to use in class. For this particular lesson, let's find a GIF of something jumping rope as an example of what jump rope means. So I search for jump rope GIF, and I have a chance to look through multiple options. Now you wanna be careful to watch the entire GIF when you are looking for examples to use in class because sometimes they have surprises pop up. For this class, let's maybe try this jump rope GIF. If I want to save the GIF, I simply right click on it and select save image as. This will enable me to save it to a file on my computer. Let's label that jump rope so I can find it easily later. When I am searching for images to use in class, I will sometimes add the word transparent to the end of my search so that the background of the image is actually transparent. For this class, I would like to find a jump rope to use as an example. So I will type in jump rope transparent. I am hoping this will give me some options with a transparent background. Let's click on this first option. The gray and white checkerboard in the background of the object usually indicates that it is a transparent image. If I want to save this one, I will simply right click on it and select save image as in order to save it to my computer. When you first open ManyCam, this large window will be black. You will need to right click on this window in order to select your camera. Your camera options will be at the top of the menu. This one is my internal camera and this one is my external camera. So I'm gonna select my external camera. 
then you will appear in the main window. The smaller windows below are what are known as presets or video sources. You can move between them by hovering over the window and selecting trans or cut to transition or cut between the various windows. Let me show you a really cool tip on using hotkeys to transition between these presets during class. Go to settings all the way in the bottom right corner Scroll all the way down to where hotkeys are on the bottom left corner. You can then assign a button or a shortcut to use to transition between the preset windows. I have picked Alt plus a number, one through nine and zero is 10. Make sure that global is turned on so that you can use these hotkeys when you are in the Magic Ears platform. Once this is set, I am then able to select Alt 2 to switch to my second preset, Alt 3 to switch to my third preset, and so on. This makes it really easy to switch between the windows that you have preset up before class while you are teaching. To use Manicam in the Magic Ears classroom, you will need to select Manicam as your camera during the device check. On the Camera tab, use the drop-down window to select Manicam Virtual Webcam as your main camera source. Now let's set up our class. Before class even begins, I love to display something in my teacher's window so the students can start learning before I even appear. You will first want to pick a preset to display before class. Let's pick preset number seven. Transition to that preset and right click on the main window. You will want to select media files. This will bring up a browser window where you can select either an image or a GIF. Let's pick this one. This will enable the GIF to display in the main window on that preset. I personally like to add text so the students can start learning the words before class. You will need to go to the draw option on the right hand side of the screen. It is the fourth option down and it looks like a squiggly line. Click on that to bring up the text and draw menus. You will want to make sure to toggle text on when you want it to appear using the toggle button on the top right side. Let's type jump rope. You are able to change the font style, the font size, the color of the font, and whether it has a transparent or a solid background. This gives you a lot of options when using text in your Manicam windows. Now let's look at the cute window we have created. I do not have to turn off the camera button when I come into class because I can display this preset that the students can enjoy before class begins. For slides that include letters, like this one, I like to add letters to my window so that I have something to point to when teaching the students. To do this, you will want to select the Effects menu option on the right-hand side of the screen. It looks like a magical wand shooting out some sparks. On this window, you will want to go to the file objects. This is where you can find most of the objects that you download from the manicam.com effects library. You can use the search feature at the top of the screen to search for your effect. Letter, oh, there's letter J. Simply click on the picture to add it to your window. It will appear and you are able to move it around. Big J, little J, ta-da! For this slide, I would love to add some GIFs to illustrate what it actually means to jump. To do this, I will want to do something called Add New Layer. Right-click on your main window and select Add New Layer. A little black box will appear. You could treat this smaller box just like you do the main box. You want to make sure to right click on the black box and select Media Files. 
Let's use this one. We'll start with this one. You can resize and move them. Let's move this guy over here. I would love to add another example of jump, so I am going to right click again and select add new layer. Right click on that new layer, that black box, and select media files once more. Let's pick the jump boy. Once again, I can resize the layers so that they, I can make them really big or really small. Now let's add the word jump. Once again, we want to go to the drawing menu, draw the little squiggly line on the right side. Make sure to turn text on at the top. Let's type jump. I can then move this word wherever I would like on the screen. This is what it looks like in class. Jump! For this slide, I would love to add an example of a jump rope. To do this, I will want to add new layer. Click on the main screen, scroll down and select add new layer. A black box will appear. Right click on the black box and select media files to open a browser window where you can select a GIF or an image. In this case, I want to use a jump rope. I am now able to resize and move this image to the location I prefer. Let's put it in this corner. Let's make it a little bit smaller. This is an example of a transparent image because I can put my hand behind the image and it's not surrounded by a white box. Let's add the word jump rope to the window above us. Go to the draw menu, turn on text. Let's type jump rope. And now we're all ready. Jump rope. If you have purchased the studio or premium versions of Manicam, you have an option known as Chroma Key. This is a convenient way to add lesson specific backgrounds to a green screen. I personally use green poster board because it is inexpensive and very smooth. To get to Chroma Key, select the Chroma Key menu option on the right side. You will then want to turn on Chroma Key using the toggle button in the top right hand corner. You can use the eyedropper to select your background color. It appears as a small circle. As you can see, when I selected my background color, there was some variance where my lighting is. It's okay, just keep clicking until your entire background is black and you get rid of the fuzzy patches. If you accidentally cl click on your face or your hair, feel free to use the undo or the reset option to start over again. Once your background is black, you will want to select your background image. Manicam has preloaded some background options like this one and this one, but I personally love to look for background images online and download them to use in my classes. For this particular class, let's look for a custom background image. I think for jump rope, I would love to use something like a playground. So let's select the playground option and open it. Now my background is ready for class. This is an example of how I would use Manicam in this particular lesson. I would start off by showing the GIF camera cover that I had prepared before class starts. When I am ready to begin class, I would use my hotkeys, Alt-1, to switch to my first preset. Hello, class! I also love to use a trophy preset when awarding trophies to the students. So after I greet them, I would switch to Alt-2, the second preset, to give them a trophy. Yay, you get a trophy! When I am ready to teach a slide, such as slide number four, I would switch to Alt-3. Big J, little J. 
I would then switch to my blank background image, which is Alt-6, before moving on. For this slide jump, I know that is preset 4, so I would use Alt-4 to teach jump. I know that my next preset, Alt-5, will get me to jump rope. Now we are ready to use Manicam in the Magic Years classroom. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in the family group. I am always here to help. And please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the Magic Years channel, and leave a comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click Bonnie to subscribe and check out this next video we have for you.